Hello children. So today we are going to prepare a temporary acetocarmen stained mount of onion root tip to study various stages of mitosis. So for that purpose, can you see I have taken the onion bulb. So can you see the roots now it is grown up. For this purpose, I have taken a so medium sized onion, so small onion. So I have taken this onion and uh, the tip no, it has been trimmed off before keeping in water. The old root it has been removed. Okay, with the help of sharp blade, it has been removed. Then it was kept in water by only the base should be touching. Only the base no, it has to touch the water. So in a, it has been kept in a bottle full of water or beaker of water. So only the base should be touching. It has to be immersed like that with the base portion. So then it will take one week time. Then later the roots will grow. Can you see the shoots also grown up? It is about one week old. So it has grown like that. So from here we have to trim the root tip. About 5 millimeter length. No? It can be trimmed. And it can be put inside here mixture. And this mixture it contains no acetic acid and ethanol. It is about 1 is to 3 ratio. So if it is kept inside, no, so it can be used for preparing the stained mount. Okay, so here we will trim and take out the onion root tip and it can be kept inside. Okay, children. Can you see children? The roots has been trimmed off and kept inside the solution and this process you call that as fixation. So from here we can take out the root tip and we can hydrolyze them by warming to 60 degree in hydrochloric acid. So about 15 minutes. Then we can use the tips for doing the slide preparation after washing them in water. It is preserved in acetic acid and ethanol 1 is to 3 ratio. So from here we are going to take the onion root tip. And we are going to hydrolyze in hydrochloric acid. So we are taking few of the onion root tips for hydrolyzation. Okay. So now we are going to add some dilute hydrochloric acid. No, no, it's just for hydrolyzing. The hydrolysis, that hydrochloric acid, it has to be diluted. Okay, already it is diluted and kept. Okay. Can you see onion root tips are there inside? So here we are warming that. Don't overheat, just we are warming. Actually, no, while heating it is just making the root tips tender. Then the stain will be taken easier. That's why we are warming it. Now we are taking out the root tips out. Now the root tips, no, it has to be washed in water. The hydrochloric acid excess, it has to be removed. We are washing with water. Now the slide can be stained with acetocarmine. Acetocarmine for this purpose. We add a few drops of acetocarmine. Then later it has to be heated. Don't overheat. It may break the slide. Okay. Slightly above the flame it is to be heated. Above the flame. Can you see? Continuously you should not heat. Slowly you show. 
and you take out the slide just to warm up when you are warming up the acetylcholine will evaporate then again you have to add a few drops of acetylcholine and it has to be heated again can you see the changing in color the root tip color no it is slowly getting changed and it should not be fully dried up also children so when it is dried up then once again the process it will be difficult the root tip will be dried all the cells will be dried so that's why so you allow for evaporation then again you add a few drops twice or thrice we have to do still all the acetylcholine it is absorbed by the root tip it won't be hot you can hold the slide because slightly you are putting the slide above the flame no so don't think the slide will become hot it is cool only the slide is cool okay warming up no it stains the process staining process faster Children, three times I have added two drops of acetylcholine and heating. And slowly, can you observe the change in the color of root tip? It is becoming pinkish in color. You don't overheat, then it will result in breaking of the slide. Okay. Now the excess acetylcholine is to be removed with the help of. Can you see it has been stained properly? Now it has become darker in color. All the acetylcholine, excess acetylcholine, to be removed with the help of water. Now after that, we can wipe up. Here and there, you can see some. red spots it is been wiped up the slide to be clean before putting the glycerin you have to wipe all the red spots okay now the slide is clean so now you can add no glycerin can see no we are going to add glycerin You can add only one or two drops of glycerin. Huh? Don't put more. While well, handling covers, if you know how to handle, you have to hold like this. Okay. Now we are going to put the covers in with the help of needle. Slowly you put like this. There should not be any air bubble. Okay. So now the onion root tip is cylindrical. You can't observe the. Cell, so that's why slightly you tap the slide over the cover slip. You should not give more stress. Slightly you tap so that the onion root tip, no, it will be dispersed. Maybe glycerin may be coming out. Then later the glycerin can be taken out with the help of blotting paper. Okay, can you observe? Slowly it is dispersing. because no as it is cylindrical the light cannot pierce so that's why you cannot as it cannot penetrate you won't be able to observe the cells so when you are doing like this all the cells it gets dispersed okay it is getting broken the cylindrical shape and it is forming a thin layer and the cells will be visible and we can observe the chromosomes also clearly hope you are observing how it has been dispersed Okay, so now the excess glycerin. There is no air bubble also. 
we have to take precaution air bubble should not enter inside now the excess glycerin to be wiped up and it can be observed under microscope